Hello. Well, today I'm going to continue talking about the Before Trilogy and talk about the second film, Before Sunset, um, which is the shortest of all of them. This is 80 minutes. Um, the first film was 101 minutes. Uh, yeah. But yeah, it's interesting how this is uh, shorter than the previous film. Um, this time it's also uh, written by uh, uh, Ethan Hawke and Julie Delpy, who, of course, star in the film, uh, uh, return as Jesse and Celine. Um, um, film takes place eight, or not eight, nine years after the first film. And um, uh, they meet in Paris uh, after nine years. Uh, and um, uh, Celine is a, uh, you know, doing environmental work and going out and doing things to help uh, uh, clean up pollution and all sorts of environmental causes. Um, while uh, Jesse has written a book, which is essentially about uh, their night in uh, uh, Vienna, and uh, they began to reconnect, and they were saying how you know, like uh, asking like if they went to you know, or she asks if he went to. Uh, uh, Vienna six months later after the, after the first film and she's like you know I didn't you know because my grandmother died and so like the week uh, or the, uh, like the day that, that she was supposed to get on the plane to go there uh, like her it was the funeral so she couldn't go then it's revealed that he himself uh, he uh, went but he spent a few days there and he was kind of bummed out but You know, over the course of the film, they uh, start, you know, just talking about what they've been doing in the meantime, you know. Uh, she's in a relationship with a man who's like a, uh, uh, who photograph, who uh, takes pictures of, uh, uh, like, war, you know. And so anything that's going on in war, like action and such, he's there taking pictures and he, like tells her that she, he doesn't do anything reckless and, like, well, won't pur purposely put himself into, like, any more danger than he already would be. Um, well, uh, so that's what Celine's doing, and Jesse's, uh, you know, obviously he wrote a book, which off and on for five years, but, you know, he, in the, he also got uh, married, has a four-year-old son, uh, Henry or Hank and um, he also uh, went to college and also where in the first film it wasn't totally you know really stated that he him, himself was uh, went to college it could have been he might have waited a bit but or maybe took a bit of a break of sorts for a while because you know he you know, doesn't talk about school at all. So, but of course, it was summer, so probably wasn't really much of a thought on his mind a whole lot. But um, they broke up. They, uh, like uh, his wife, they like they were going out. Then they broke up, and then they got back together, got pregnant, and got married, and you know did various things. Like he even like played at a band um, for a while, and they were. Like, apparently fairly decent, but, you know, he's like, you know, as I get older, you know, I, I appreciate things more. Where when you're young, you don't exactly appreciate things. You don't take the time to enjoy the moment. You kind of, you sort of do, but you don't really. It's like it's, things are uh, fantastic and fun and great, uh, cool, whatever are happening. And you take it in, but you also don't take it in until you realize later on just how great something was but then of course that time is gone um he uh you know 
uh, and she also uh, does songs, actually writes uh, music and plays a guitar. And so they're walking around Paris and getting to know each other. And it's really cool just to see how uh, these two characters come back. And, uh, uh, you know, so while uh, these two help Richard Linklater write the script, uh, the story was still written by uh, uh, Richard Linklater later and uh, Kim Krasan. So she's still uh, a part of this uh, uh, still. Uh, but she didn't really uh, write the actual overall script. And um, it's really cool just to see how they go back and just, or like come back to together and like the chemistry, which I didn't really touch on in the first film, but their chemistry is really good and it's still really good here now. Uh, you know, again, the. Uh, the dialogue seems real, like real people are talking, and just so so much about this uh, uh, film is uh, really good. It's a really good uh, continuation. I I really like how uh, this keeps uh, keeps things going, and now uh, them meeting together, you know him going on tour for like 10 days basically or whatever like to tour and like very fast succession you know it's like i'm glad it's over because i was just going uh really fast and it's like you gotta be at an airport at a like a seven but like he's gonna be there for like an hour or two until his actual flight he's actually able to get onto an airplane and then fly um you know, he uh, was from Texas, you know, and um, he lived in New York for a while, as did she. You know, they, she went to school in New York for a bit, and uh, they were there at the same time. And it's kind of like, wish we actually got to, you know, uh, got together or bumped into each other. And it was even revealed, like, when he was, like, thinking how, you know, that, that night, you know, he's like... Uh, I kept thinking, he kept thinking about her so much, and now he thinks part of him, the reason he wrote the book was to hopefully run into her again, like he'll be able to do some book tour, like if the book is good enough, that he's able to uh, eventually go to France, you know, specifically Paris, and, um, you know, just to be able to uh, talk to her again, and he, uh, was able to, and, um, obviously, but, you know, they obviously have feelings for each other still, and he even was like, you know, when he got married, he thought, I saw you on the way to the church, uh, to get married, and then, uh, it turns out she didn't live all that far away from, like, the address that he gave, like, you know, she didn't live all that far. So it could have been that he did see her and he wasn't just seeing things. Um, yeah, it's really cool how, um, like, nine years later, like, I don't believe that, you know, this was never, like, a planned thing. This was just something that kind of happened, like, um, Richard Linklater and, I believe, uh, uh, Ethan Hawke and Julie... They'll be kind of got back together just talking and then eventually, you know, of course, that, that whole idea that of uh, another film like to follow up uh, before sunrise with before sunset kind of came about and then they all came together and uh, wrote the script that was basically a, from the story that he and Richard Licklinger and uh, Kim Krasan uh, wrote. And it's a really good, uh, it is definitely a good follow-up. I, I really enjoy Before Sunset, or Sunrise, but I think Before Sunset is better. It's really cool to see how these characters have grown and how they reconnect and just get back into the, back together and just how things really didn't seem to have really changed much, like, like the 
like they kind of picked up right where they left off and it's really cool and the book that he wrote um kind of ends uh, ambiguously whether they actually see each other six months later or not is not written because well he didn't see her six months later but he decided you know <clears throat> like the ending he kind of had where they do meet up and then they they have like have sex for like 10 days and whatever and then they just you know just trying to get to know each other more and then they just don't really enjoy each other much and so that's it he's like but I, I guess that's kind of a downer it's kind of better like if you if one is like a romantic they, they do get back to they meet each other again and they like you can live happily ever after but if one is isn't uh, romantic at all then maybe they never see each other again it was just like a one-time thing and there you go and uh So in a way, like his book is sort of semi-autobiographical. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's a really good film. Um, it, it definitely uh, uh, progresses the story, and I think it's in just a fantastic film. I, I think it's one that, uh, you, know, you know, for sequels like this that aren't planned, outright in advanced which i think these days like a lot of sequels suffer from not having any real plan they just kind of think of a story that you know overall when you just look at what the overall story is is quite good but the execution isn't so good um you know here that it kind of works you know they thought of an idea for a, a follow-up talk to the main two uh performers they uh, were they liked the idea and they helped uh, the director write the script and uh, I think the end result is really good I think it's a fantastic film I enjoy it I think it's uh, one that is uh, really uh, really uh, just just fantastic um, got nominated for an Academy Award for a best adapted screenplay um, this was uh, Ethan Hawke's second Academy Award nomination. Um, his first was for Training Day. Julie Delpy's first nomination, and I believe... If, yeah, this was Richard Linklater's first Academy Award nomination also. Um, yeah, I believe I believe so. I, uh, he would obviously get nominated for a bunch of stuff for, like, Boyhood and such, but... <clears throat> Yeah, this was uh, like a big, uh, a big, uh, a, a fairly big awards contender. It wasn't not only for a massive slew of awards, but uh, it's definitely really good. It's a fantastic film. Um, if you enjoyed the first film and you haven't seen this one, I think it's good to see it. Um, I think the whole trilogy is worth watching, honestly. But that's me. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is a really good film. I enjoy it. I think it's really a really fantastic movie from beginning to end. Uh, and it's nice to see these characters just kind of reconnect. And there's some, you know, conflict here and there as the as they uh, spend more time together. But by the end of the film, uh, you know, and you know what? Jesse loves his son, uh, Hank, but, you know, his marriage isn't all that great. It's kind of falling apart, and um, he's doing, like, marriage counseling and such, and it's just things aren't going well. And just it, the film ends on the note that, you know, they're going to just spend time, more time together, and uh, that he's, like, going to miss his flight, and he's fine with that, Yeah. Uh, I don't know, it's just the ending that is really, it just really feels good, uh, I guess is the best thing to say. Um, it's a fantastic film. Um, if you've seen this, what do you think? Do you think it's good? Do you think, do you prefer the first film 
over this film or do you enjoy this more? Uh, be curious to uh, hear what you have to say and as to why and why. Um, yeah. Fantastic film uh, from beginning to end. I, uh, I definitely hope you're all doing well. Hope you're all having a great day. Hope you're all having a great week and I will see you all next time. Please take care. Bye.